Well, we finally arrived in Africa. One of the long-awaited destinations here in Caldwell the Angler, home to a dino park and 16 fish species, including 13 new ones that we're gonna head out and try to target today. And I mean, just look at this map. Like, as I pan around heading to our first spot here, these mountains in the background in particular, that makes me want to go and explore and see what this map has to offer, maybe more so than any map that's been released thus far. But I do think it's officially time to wet a line. So we're going to go literally as vanilla as possible. We've got a size 7 hook and a hot dog. I read through the handbook. It looks like a lot of the species here on Africa will hit that. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in. And hopefully we're right. Oh, here we go. First fish on Africa. By the way, you see the bobber drifting? New feature with this update. I don't know what it is, but it's really passive. There we go. This is a little bit of lighter equipment, but whatever this is, shouldn't be an issue. I forget the, the there's three different subspecies of the same type of fish. I'm guessing it's maybe one of those. That is what it looks like. I think it starts with a K maybe? About to find out. Redbreast Kerper. That was the word that I could not remember. Look at that guy. That is really, really cool. I'm going to spin that towards the sun. Try to get like a decent little photo of him. That dorsal fin is wild. And like that's the thing about African species, both land and sea. They're so unique from like anything I'm used to here. That is really cool. So we're going to release him. We'll probably try a couple more casts here. There are two particular species that I really do want to catch, by the way. Those would be the spotted bass and, of course, the African tigerfish. I'm not sure where they're out on the map, but obviously them and actually a lot of the species here will go after lures. And that's something that I was really, really hoping to see. So at some stage we'll do that, but just in case we can pull anything else out of here, we'll give this another try. And just to see it again, I think it actually does drift more when there's not a fish hitting it. When you zoom in, you can really tell. It's flowing with the current, which is really nice. We also do, of course, have the ability to open the bail arm now. So what that's going to do is just pull more line out rather than slowly kind of drifting towards us as it starts to drift down the current. It'll actually just pull more line and we don't have to worry about that. I just saw a fish, but it swam away. So maybe not one that's going to hit this. There we go. I was starting to wonder. I wonder if it's going to be the oh, That was a little more aggressive. Maybe it won't be the same. Higher tension for sure. The thing about it is I have no clue what's in this body of water. So going to be exciting to see, but I feel fairly confident saying that is not the same species of fish. Or if it is, it's a way, way bigger one. So we're going to just turn up the drag a little bit and kind of drag him in. That still, though, like is not going super fast. Not going to be an issue. Ooh, that is another one. So potentially decent. Still a silver. 1.79 pounds. I think the other one was maybe in the 1.2 range. Or actually, I guess it was 1.63. The difference in the tension was really notable, though. I guess the one thing to note is that we did hook him much further away, and something that I totally forgot that I had to worry about, and now can confirm, you don't have to worry about flipping the bail arm back over in order to set the hook. That's done automatically. I like that because I feel like it's going to be easy to forget about it. What is that guy? We are going to find out because I want to catch him. Looks like... I think grass carp? That looks the most like what I saw. So, dough, corn, pearl barley, kind of the usual for carp. Let's see if we can hook something up here. That's the one that we saw. And it sure does look like a grass carp, but it is showing no interest whatsoever in our bait. So maybe we need to try something else. The only thing I had on me right now is cheese. So that could be why he's not hitting him. Maybe the hook size or something he doesn't like. Cause yeah, he's really not messing with it. So I guess we'll worry about trying to catch one of those later. We'll go and stock up on other things that we could catch them with. And if we find one another, oh, okay. What changed? <laughs> like literally seconds from cutting the line. I'm sure there's going to be kind of a slow process because it is a carb is going to be a kind of passive feeder. It's kind of cool to see it so up close like that. It is feet away. There we go. I can't believe we're going to end up catching that. I was so sure we were just not going to have a chance. So he looks like a fairly small one. And maybe that was part of the issue. For whatever reason. Struggling to get him all the way in here to the boat. I think it's because the 
bobber had floated so far with the current. Yeah, just a little six pound bronze. Not bad though. I like them. So yeah, let's uh, let's stock up before we go too far. We'll go back to the main shop and then we'll try exploring some other bodies of water. Also, by the way, pretty cool actually going around the uh, dino park. But anyway, we'll uh, grab pretty much everything we can carry as far as different baits. Well, I had a guess as to where we might find spotted bass and there's a challenge here to catch a silver or better literally right off the dock. So I'm gonna try a spoon first, only because I know Tigerfish will hit that too. And if that doesn't work, we'll switch to something to be a little bit more traditionally a bass lure, but gotta just give this a shot in case we pull something else uh, unexpected up off the bottom. I can't tell. Is there something following that? Or is it, yeah, there is something following that, okay. <laughs> I don't know what it might be. I can't really see it. There's another fish just sitting there that looks a lot like the one we caught earlier. That is not something we've caught yet. Is that one of the yellowfish maybe? That is smallmouth yellowfish. That's a little six pounder as well. And that's a silver. So if we could do that with a spotted bass, that would be fantastic. Very carp-like. But those ones are obviously more aggressive. And I did see that on the handbook that they would go after lures. Again, that's the thing that I'm really excited about here in Africa. Just being able to do more lore fishing, and we can be successful either way. That was literally immediate. I switched to a spinnerbait? Apparently, that's not something the yellowfish will hit. That looks much more like kind of a bass shape. Think that might be what we have. But are you a spotted bass or a smallie? Because I think that's a smallmouth. Silver smallmouth. That <laughs> would be the way. Can tell by the eyes. I mean... Doing something, right? That could be a problem, though, if both bass species hit on the spinnerbait. Surely at some point we'll get into one. This is literally a spot marked for it. Okay, didn't even see that one. Kind of interesting tension. That uh, doesn't look like a kerper to me. What even was that? Oh, it's a different kind of kerper. Canary kerper. That's a silver at literally 0.9 pounds. Obviously going to be a much smaller fish, but we're suddenly starting to go through a bunch of the species. The problem is, just in trying to do this challenge, we, uh, for one, we're killing a bunch of time. The sun's about to set behind the mountains. And for two, we're not specifically targeting at least the main one I want in the tiger fish. I do want the spotted bass too, which is why we're still here. Could that be it? Definitely a bass. And it's getting so dark, I just can't identify him as we bring him in now. That's a spotted bass, but it's a bronze. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm going to be okay with that, and we'll keep on moving because it's about to get dark. And I think we'll be able to catch the, I don't even know, is it African eel? But first, spotted bass, finally. And it doesn't even do the challenge, so we'll worry about that later. We'll uh, quickly check the handbook and see if that's the correct name. Is this one here? African model eel. Would expect, yeah, they are a nocturnal fish. And I know we have the bait to catch one. So uh, let's go ahead and get a boat. Let's see if we can catch something unique out here. I, what was that? I saw a really nice sized fish go fly into this. That's significant tension too. Could that be a tiger fish? Because one of the top bait and lore preferences was the spoon. That's what we've got on. And I had to go straight to this bridge. It's called the banana bridge. That's not a, is that a yellow fish again? I think so. It's a better one though. 7.76 pound, still just a silver. Man, I was so excited because I thought we finally got one. How are we gonna get away from these things? Oh, there we go. Something out here. We tried a completely different spot, like two miles from where we were. Whatever this is, is it another yellow fish? Moggle. Well, that's another new one. Still not the specific one we're after, though. There we go. I've been wanting to do this for way too long. If you ever wanted to fish next to a dinosaur, there's a pretty neat location right up here where you can do it. So I've just got a spinnerbait on. I've been, like, trying to catch an eel all night, and it's not working. 
Looks like we got another Kerper here, but it's just a, a neat little way to frame that up. 1.66 pound silver, nothing special, but it is nearly morning, and I guess nearly time to get back after Tigerfish. So we got all kinds of stuff, fishing a night in a bunch of different locations. Not a singular eel though, no matter what we did. So I was hoping maybe we'd luck into one up here. But when I saw this dinosaur in the water, I had to try to fish near it and just kind of see what would happen. And unfortunately, same fish actually is the first one we caught, but at least we hooked into something. What are we hooked into? That's not a bass. Could it be a tiger fish? I thought what I saw swim over there was just a bass, but clearly not. We have, oh, a largemouth yellowfish. Well, what do you know, just adding to the list of things we've caught today. Didn't even realize that was a possibility. I could see the dorsal fin and it was kind of tigerfish-like, but we're just kind of trying the river because it seems like the tigerfish can live literally anywhere, and yet somehow we haven't caught any of them. Kind of encouraging though, it seems like there's less species, at least that live in these areas and that will hit a spoon than anywhere else we've been. So maybe the odds are higher for every strike we get that it could be one. I think that might be another largemouth yellowfish. Shouldn't take long to bring it in because we're so high up here. We only got to get them into like 25 feet or something. Might be a little bigger than the last one. Definitely another largemouth. That's still a bronze though at like 10 pounds. So they're going to be some of the biggest fish on the map. That'll be kind of fun as we scoot along here and hopefully do so without drowning. Something else we can try to target. Got another strike in here. Decent tension on that. It took a while. Really not sure what to make of that. I'm not sure if any of these species are likely to jump out of the water. Because it, they, oh, that's different. Is it a tiger fish? It had the right coloration. Got a tiger fish, finally. I want to catch a bigger one, but at least we know an area where they might be. And of course, too, like the worst lighting. The good news is the further we go along, the better the lighting will be. I want to try to get a screenshot where we can see those teeth. That is so cool. Out of the river as well, like that is by far my favorite way to fish in this game, is in the rivers. Now we just gotta try to catch one a little bit better. So considering six pounds is a bronze, probably a bigger spoon would make sense, honestly, for both of those species. That did not take long. I literally, ooh, that's better tension. I just swapped back to the five. Not sure if hook size two is necessarily too big, but I think for most of these things, it might just be a little much, like big silvers and stuff might not hit it. Question is, another tiger fish it is, maybe a little bit of a better one then? And I think we might have found the place to go for him. Still a bronze, but six and a half pounds this time, so moving in the right direction. I think maybe a little bit better light too. So probably the ideal situation would be to have like a size three or four spoon. Unfortunately, those are back in the storage at the moment. I swapped out for a bunch of different live bait for some of these other species that I'm less familiar with. And naturally, here we are using the same old, same old, catching exactly what we came here to try to get. There's something there. I kind of think that's a tiger fish again. Maybe more the size of the first one. I found one spot here where it's a little bit brighter. Down in this kind of, like, river valley. It's really tough to find a spot where the lighting is even decent. That's a better one, actually. Eight pounds. Moving in the right direction with every one that we catch. At least that one, like, you can see it, I think, a little better. I do like the looks of them. I, I really think they're sort of the star of the show on this map. Hard to argue with it. I mean, one of the coolest looking fish and most unique looking fish that are in the game right now. We're going to keep on moving up, though. And maybe, just maybe, we can hook into an even better one than that. Ooh, I didn't even see that one. Whoa, 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 is that a tiger fish? It might be a largemouth yellowfish. I, I don't know. Now, I see the dorsal fin. That's a way better tiger. Let's go up on the drag here. I don't think we're at risk of snapping anything. That's got to be a way better one, though. Going to try to bring that thing in, and I'm so happy, too. We're in, like, a really good spot 
there was a boat ramp just back behind us. So screenshot wise, this should be better. If that's not at least a silver, I'll be surprised. You can just feel the weight difference. Like he's just not budging. This is like 37 pound test. It is no light setup. That's gonna land him though. Oh, that is a way better one. Silver 14 pounder. What a perfect way to wrap this up. That is an awesome looking fish. I'm so glad we persevered and it was for like three hours. We couldn't catch a single tiger fish. And now that's all we're catching. We just had to get into the right location. Look at that guy. I think there was just a lighting change there, if I'm not mistaken. They look so cool. Might try to get a photo like that, actually, too. What a cool looking fish. I guarantee you, the vast majority of the time that we spend here in Africa is going to be spent targeting these things probably on the river because it's a way more fun way to fish for them, at least in my opinion. And I think that's a good idea for what we'll be doing on stream here very shortly. So I think on that note, that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.